Let's go! Today I have some very important updates regarding Bitcoin, Ethereum and crypto in general. It has really been amazing how much has already happened in only the first 20 days of the year. As I have mentioned before, 2020 is going to be a very big year for crypto and if anything, that has been an understatement so far. If we take a quick look at the crypto markets, we can see that overall most coins are still up significant amounts over the past 7 days. However, if we look at the past day, we see a different story. Other than a handful of coins such as Engine, Hedera Hashgraph, Ren and a few others, the market is either flat or seeing some slight dips. I have something exciting, bullish news to share with all of you, so let's get right into what's been going on. As I am sure a lot of you have seen, Ethereum has been pushing closer and closer to its all-time high of 1448 that was reached 3 years ago. Bitcoin on the other hand has continued its consolidation in the same range between $34,000 and $38,000. An important event that is approaching regarding Bitcoin is the expiration of $3.7 billion worth of options contracts on January the 29th. Options are used for a variety of reasons including as income sources, speculation and to hedge risk. If you do not know what Bitcoin options are, basically they are contracts that give investors the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell a specific amount of Bitcoin for a specific price within a certain range of dates. So when an option contract reaches the end of that range of dates, it expires. This means that whoever sold the options contract then is required to fulfill the agreement in the contract in a process known as assignment. When a lot of options contracts all expire on the same day, this can lead to some irrational price movements in Bitcoin. Let me explain why. One of the most important details of an options contract is the strike price, which is the agreed upon price that the Bitcoin will be sold or bought at. While retail investors like us really cannot do anything to affect the price of Bitcoin, institutional investors as well as whales are able to influence the price by market buying or selling large amounts of Bitcoin to drive price either up or down. This is important in regard to options because if a whale or other investor with large amounts of capital is holding options contracts, but the contracts are not quite in profit yet, they will attempt to drive the market in either direction where they want the market to go in order to be in profit. And we have seen these attempts to force the market in a certain direction and that causes a lot of volatility and it has happened in the past leading up to large options expiration dates. It is worth noting that January the 29th will be the largest ever expiration of Bitcoin options contracts. So if you're going to be opening a new position in Bitcoin in the days leading up to the 29th, make sure to be cautious, especially if you plan to use leverage. Aside from the largest Bitcoin options expiry ever, Grayscale saw its largest single day of asset raising ever on January 15th. They added a staggering $700 million to their family of crypto trust in a single day. Once again, this just goes to show that institutional investment is not slowing down even when Bitcoin decides to take a little break. And another exciting development in Bitcoin adoption has actually come from the city of Miami, Florida. Francis Suarez, the major of Miami, has publicly stated in an interview with Fox Business News that he wants his city to be one of the most crypto forward and technological cities in the entire United States. In addition to this, he also stated that he would be interested in exploring the possibility of investing 1% of the city's treasury into Bitcoin. Even if it only did end up being a single percent, the amount is not what matters. Having a massive, well-known city make the public decision to diversify into Bitcoin could be the first step towards convincing many other cities, states and even countries to do the same. FOMO is one of the most powerful forces in crypto and it only gets stronger as more entities decides to invest. Speaking of FOMO, according to a survey by Bank of America, being long Bitcoin, which simply means thinking it will go up, has surpassed being long technology stocks as the most crowded trade in financial markets. Crowded is just another way of saying that it has the greatest amounts of capital flowing into it. Perhaps one of the most popular reasons for being long Bitcoin is made evident by the third most popular trade right now. 
The third most popular trade across all financial markets is being short the US dollar, meaning people think it is going to decrease in value, especially with the new Biden administration affirming their intentions to not only pass a massive multi-trillion dollar stimulus package, but to also be committed to continuous fiscal stimulus for the foreseeable future. This stimulus will be made possible through large amounts of money printing by the Federal Reserve. As I have mentioned in previous videos, this money is printed without backing, which decreases the value of all US dollars. While this is not good for the value of the dollar, it is great for Bitcoin because it might be the push that more individuals, institutions and corporations need to start converting portions of their cash reserves into Bitcoin to escape rising inflation. And up next is yet another bullish headline, and that is that Goldman Sachs, one of the higher profile skeptics of Bitcoin and crypto in general, has finally changed their mind. Regardless of whether they are doing it because they believe in crypto now, or if they simply do not want to miss out on the Bitcoin gains available, according to an insider, the bank is preparing a strategy to provide crypto custody services. This could actually be seen as being even more bullish than other banks starting to work towards crypto integration because Goldman Sachs has done a complete 180 in less than a year. After all, as recently as May of 2020, the bank denied the fact that Bitcoin and crypto were even an asset class at all. This just goes to show that there is hope for anyone, even the biggest crypto skeptics and objectors. A couple of days ago, I talked about how exchanges Bitcoin reserves were being depleted as crowds of investors are buying Bitcoin and removing it from their exchange wallets to hold long term. Well, now the same thing is happening with Ethereum. As ETH has been approaching all time highs, exchange reserves have plunged by 27% in the last 48 hours. While reaching the all-time high will be a nice milestone, most people buying Ethereum do not plan to sell there as price targets such as $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 and even higher are being predicted. This is why so many people are buying Ethereum and removing it from exchanges to hold long term. And while Ethereum is nowhere near finished, people are already looking forward to the much-awaited alt season. Notable Bitcoin investor Roll Paul is one of these people. As Bitcoin has gone sideways, we have gotten a small taste of what is to come as certain coins like Polkadot, Ren, Link and Cardano have posted impressive gains. However, Pal believe this is just the beginning. Recently he wrote, by the way, Ethereum is up 60% in the first 14 days of the year. I think it outperforms all year, but I still own much more BTC, but have been adding to ETH. Next stop will be higher risk alts, but much, much smaller. More risk equals smaller size. This is a very smart mindset to have. It will pretty much always be a good idea to hold Bitcoin and Ethereum, but now is the time to be finding quality altcoins with massive potential. It is ideal to get into these coins as early as possible in order to maximize your profits. If you do not know where to start or just do not have the time to sift through the hundreds and even thousands of coins out there, then make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. I post about the best altcoins to buy and already in the past month or so, several of the coins I have made videos about have performed extremely well. For example, less than two weeks ago, I said that Ren looked like a great coin to buy into. That was at 37 cents. Today, Ren is at 75 cents. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.